Hem <laughs> nasa sauti yangu hapa ananifurahisha sana anaitwa Solo. Ajindo Solo mona jawai ongea juu ya msichana for seven years hiyo jina si iko misplaced. <laughs> Solomon wa Biblia by the time alikuwa age au Solomon wangu alikuwa na mabibi 326. Hey. <laughs> solo solo itabidi uni uniite kando bana uniambie what's happening. <laughs> what's what's going on? kama kama da ukiona mkurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice man mwaka ni 2003 if i'm not wrong 2003 luanda airport pale kuna airport iko na jina ngumu hapo ya kifaransa ama ni ya kiportuguese ni ya kiportuguese eh avenido de la something ni jina ngumu kuna ndege imekaa hapo one year na upuzi imepaa kapo this is actually uh, 2002 uh, or 2003 i think 2003 there it's 2003 ndege imekuwa hapa for like a year plus na a few days ago kuna wasu wamekamo wakasema ni aje ndege e, ilikuwa ya kufanyia ya company fulani tulikuwa tunafanya fanya nayo kazi hapa ilikuwa ni wame convert into a tanker ya kubeba mafuta E, imelala hapa for long tunataka tuipige repairs kidogo ni nini e, then tutafute siku tuitoe wale wenye hapo tawakwambia ina mambo nyipigeni repairs zenu lakini kabla muende you just know e, ime accrue over 3 million shillings e, in airport fees jutangu muipaka hapa inachaji wangu wa parking daily 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 and it's been a year plus so ina mambo nyingi tengenezeni ni nini ni, unasikia ni kama mko na miradi baadaye but before tuwapatie clearance lazima tuongee mambo ya parking fee. Wakada haina mambo. Haina mambo. In fact before tutoke, ah tutakuwa na ma discussions. So wakakubali ndege ifanywe fanywe ma repairs hapo na pale ni nini? E, wakasema wacha tuitoe tuipeleke hapa nje kidogo tuone tu kama ma, in, vitu zinafanya fanya nini but of course hatuwezi take off. <laughs> Lo and behold, wakiwa pale kwa control tower, wanaona ndege ina line up. Eh. <laughs> Chali gonge jeans. <laughs> Ni wimbo za Salimo. <laughs> Na line up. Hey. Ndege ina line up kwa runway. Kidogo kidogo wanashangaa hapana. Haizi kwa na take off. <laughs> Kila kitu yake amezima transponder iko off. Hata ana mataja washa. <laughs> no, sidani ana. Sidani. Ni kama ame take off. gone. Wada tukule ni pause. Wacha nirudi nyuma kidogo like a year plus before. Around 2001, 2002. Kuna mjamaa pale anaitwa Arwin. Arwin ako pale South Africa. I think yeye ndio mtaa yake. Maari fulani mazao akamchapia akamwambia maze tuko na business venture Buda. Utapenda. Hii business venture inataka mtu anajua mambo ya mandege. Maze na si continent tunajua watu wawili pekee wanajua mambo ya mandege. So tulipigia huyo wa kwanza mkurugenzi hakushika simu. Sasa wewe ndio option yetu sasa Buda. Kuna wax imetokelezea pale Luanda Angola. Kuna company pale inaitwa Kuwachi wana mine vitu zinaitwa nini? E, migodi almasi, almasi. Wana mine diamond. Sio wasafi. Ah, wana mine the precious stones. Na hao watu wana need fuel sana. 
sana mafuta huko ni commodity inahitajika deadly hii diesel inatakana sana so tunahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza tutafutia ndege tu convert into a tanker tuweke tanks pale ndani kama kumi hivi iko inasafirisha mafuta mpaka huko kwa gold mines eh ni 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 sababu kusafirisha hii mafuta na barabara ni dangerous sababu gani at the time Luanda i mean mm, Uh, Angola ilikuwa mazee kwenye civil war mbaya sana. So mazee kusafirisha vitu by road, you can rest assured. 90% chance hamtafika. So ndege haiko at 100% safe, but it was way better than barabara. So bana bwana Awin, sisi kama marafiki zako, South Africans wenzako, wewe wow, unaona unaweza tusaidia aje. Sababu company inaitwa Kuwachi iko huko Angola wanashindwa watapata mafuta yao aje na wana ndege ya kuwaletea na mimi najua wewe au uko na idea za ndege tukikurushia 450000 dollars buda utashindwa kutumanejia hiyo ndege na wewe mambo ya ndege unatambua au nakajiita mkutano akajiambia nyenye mambo ya ndege mimi niko sawa 450 dollars 450000 dollars hiyo nikiingia nayo pale states Miami hiyo ni kushika ndege quick fast kufabricate hapo tanks kama kumi ndani ya hiyo ndege ngoa viti kwanza za passengers weka tanks kumi bas fly hiyo ndege mpaka Luanda Angola e, watakuwa wameshamalizana na mambo ya license sababu hiyo company itatushughulikia licenses mmesema hiyo company itatushughulikia licenses of course kuachi watatushughulikia licenses zote wao panic wao hakikisha tu ndege imeland wapi Luanda worry no more you know why because i got you Awin take it take kutoka South Africa mpaka wapi Miami ameingia pale Miami nini ameshakutana na company fulani hapo wana dealing na mandege akaambia wa majamaa fanyeni hivi nataka munilize ndege yenu for one one year niko na pesa kiasi hapa nikikupatia kama 1120 hivi na kitu e, si tunaweza fanya ka something company kaambia ina mambo in fact anza kuorganize nini tanks ndio hii ndege by the time tunamaliza paperwork na nini tanks ziingie ndani zichomelewe sawa sawa wewe beba ndege yako ikiwa complete changamka so kwa ile 450000 amechuna pesa kiasi hapo amepatiana hapa wasa wa source ndege uh, watu wa Miami amechuna pesa nyingine hapo ameenda kutengeneza ma tanks za kiatari atari ametengenezewa tanks kumi zinafaa kuwa fitted kwa hii ndege kwa hiyo hiyo 450000 ameenda ametafuta crew mbili each with three men so two three man crew So hao ni wasewa sita. Asha walipalipa pesa kidogo nini ile ya kuanzaanza kazi nataka twende tuanze maisha huko Luanda nini for one year. After one year si tukafunge tuzidi. Ah, sawa. Crew check. Tanks check. Aircraft. Tashwish, tashwish, tashwish. Eh eh. Tuliko tumekwambia tutakuletea aircraft. Ai 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 ai. Makosa imefanyika. Ni kama hiyo pesa imekunywa maji. Oy 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 tutafanya nini? Oh, makosa. Aki, I don't know what happened but hiyo ndege yake ni kama tutaipata. Najua pesa imekunywa maji but shukuru at least kwa na tanks. Haukupoteza pesa yote. Sasa ikakuwa. Damn it. Nimepoteza pesa hapo kidogo hiyo deal like go through. Kuna mtu mwingine hapa Miami anauzauza hizi mandege. Ana lease mandege. Ah, akakutanishwa na jamaa anaitwa Joseph Mori. Joseph Mori ako na mandege kadhaa ziko hapo. Among the aircraft that Joseph Mori has or had was a former United Airlines aircraft ambayo ilikuwa imepiga kazi United Airlines pale USA for almost 20 years ama ni 25 but because of the United Airlines uh, regulations hiyo ndege ilikuwa tip top mint condition i swear hiyo ndege ilikuwa ni kama mpya yani hiyo ndege ilikuwa safi even though Awin alikuwa ameshapoteza pesa huko na hiyo ndege yenye iko come through ya kwanza aliona hiyo ndege akasema no in fact hii hapa sita lease let me look into purchasing it akauliza mzee Mori Mori man hii ndege mzee inaweza mimi nataka kwenda kupiga nayo kazi ya Afrika badala ya kuilease si uniuzie but mzee before hata unipatie bei wacha tu nikwambie already nishakula dent kuna ndege ilikuwa ikam pesa imechomeka nimenunua ma tanks kumi already e, pesa imeenda ikireduce nimelipa crew yenye nafaa kwenda America already crew equated before 911 i mean after 
eh, September 11 2001 the bombing ah wase wajakuwa kazi sasa hii ni one year plus mazetu kwa 2002 nimewa promise kazi ile ndege imekataa ku come through wanaona ni kama na wacheze na mimi naona watu wako na psyche ya kazi maze wanaanza kukuwa depressed bana so tusikubali aki kitu ya bei ifanye a watu warudi nyumbani na depression na mimi rudi huko Afrika bila ndege hapa na usikubali shetani akutumie tufanye hivi unaniuzia hii kitu na how much uh, Mauri akapiga hesabu ya rakaraka akamwambia mimi sitaki kukufinya na sitaki unifinye bei ya jioni hii in fact ungekuja uki, ungeendea kwa kampuni nyingine ungepatiwa na three times lakini sababu ni wewe na umejileta mpaka kwangu hapa nitakupatia hii ndege na 1 million dollars hiyo hata usibagain tembea in fact watu wakisikia nimekupatia ndege na 1 million watanipiga hii town sababu unaharibu soko yenyewe au inakapiga hesabu akaona okay 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 a million dollars iko sawa but nikikwambia sahi niko na 1 million dollars kwa mfuko gave nitakuwa nimekudanganya Nikikwambia niko na half a million dollars sahi kwa mfuko gave nitakuwa nimekudanganya Nikikwambia niko na 250,000 sahi sahi kwa mfuko sahi hapa nitakuwa nimekudanganya Nikikwambia niko na 100,000 dollars kwa mfuko sahi gave nitakuwa nimekudanganya Nikikwambia niko na 50,000 dollars kwa mfuko I, I swear can cheat can die nitakuwa nimekudanganya Nikikwambia niko na 10,000 dollars kwa mfuko saa hii saa hii Gave sitakuwa nimekudanganya walai niko na 10,000 chufanya hivi eh chukua hii 10,000 kwa manayo wacha mimi niende nipige haso Afrika nikuwe na kurushia hii pesa kila wiki wewe unaonaje hey. ndege ya 1 million unataka kutoka nayo hapa na 10,000 dollars eish 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 huwi okay sababu umelia sana na mistaki kazi kuacha sababu naona Africa is a developing continent na juu kumtakafunga. Okay, wacha hiyo 10,000 dollars. Lakini nitaita mtu wangu muende na yeye huko. Spikes mutoke na oh, Gabriel, Mike Gabriel mutoke na huyu jamaa muende na yeye Afrika. Akishafanya biashara yake in 30 days nataka mkoe mumenitumie hiyo 990,000 dollars. Eh, otherwise mambo itakuwa sawa. Ah, Mike Gabriel anasema I got you. I got you boss. Wacha mimi niingie na yeye Afrika, twende tupige mboka, tupige kazi, tukulipe eh, ndege yako. Mike Gabriel, ambaye ni mfanyikazi wa Mr. Mori, anapanda ndege. Six man crew ambaye imeassembliwa na Mr. Arwin, wanapanda ndege. Mr. Arwin anapanda ndege. Walatoka Miami wanataka kuelekea Luanda, Angola. Sababu kule wale South Africans walisema ile company inaenda kuwapatia kazi ambayo inaitwa kuwachi. Ishashughulikia licenses zote. So watalandu huko bila ngori yoyote. Kumbuka amechomeka chomeka huko amelipa ndege ya kukuja, amenunua matanks huko, amelipa crew, kuna 10,000 dollars imebaki America ndege. So ana, ana pesa in, mobi imebaki. He, lo and behold anatoka kule February 28th eh, 2002 believe it or not kitu angefaa kuwa na land the following day in fact maybe hata angetoka mapema ange land to the same day Luanda Angola aliingia Angola after 14 days sababu gani <laughs> wale kuachi walisema ati wameshalipia hizo permits zote na licenses oh uliwalipia hawa kulipa kitu so hawa sasa wange land Luanda na kuambia back and forth zilianza hapo yo eh huyu ni Mr. Awin anauliza ule m South Africa alimhook up na hii kazi eh hey, gave si ulisema hii company tunaenda kufanyia kazi watakuwa wameshughulikia licenses hiyo e, 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 akina hao ma South Africans wanapigia akina kuachi eh hey, kuachi bana mlisema mtashughulikia licenses mbona pilot wetu wamekwama huko na, na crew i mean business partner wetu wamekwama huko na crew mzima na ndege bana haizi ingia angola it's been weeks two weeks hii itakuwaje eh hey, story 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 South Africans wana revert back to eh eh au inawaambia mazile pesa umebakisha imagine itabidi tu wapatie aki otherwise amutaingia hiyo Luanda ah, sasa amebakisha 140,000 dollars anapatiana yote Uf, ndio wakubaliwe kulandu wapi Luanda wako na pesa ya kusurvive sasa oh, oh uliwapea sasa ni muende mutafute getos mkae hii crew ya mtu sita na ule Gabriel mwenye alitumwa huko na mdosi Mori akuje achunge ndege until walipe hii kitu yote in one month wanaishi geto siwe jinapita hapa chini wanaumwa na mosquitoes zinatoshana na mende Ah watu wanajiuliza huku ni wapi tumekuja kazi. 
where is this hell hole although huyu Gabriel Mike sababu ni mtu amefanyafanya kazi Afrika sana unajua huu mdosi wake Mori akiuzauza mandege alikuwa anauzauza hizi mandege sasa kana ndo huko Afrika alikuwa anatumaga Mike Gabriel sana oh Nigeria oh Mozambique i think hata Nairobi alikaa makaka Nairobi eh, sometime back for one year so ni mtu Afrika eh ah, dawa ya mosquito ni kugonga iko nini siwe tu unapumua tu eh kwani hautakufa au wengine ndio sahiyo wanakipata pata wanajaribu ku raise ma do at least eh, eh, za kusurvive vizuri sababu wale watu waliwaitia hii kazi kuachi bado hawaja wa engage officially wanashindwa mbona kuna hold up tunafaa kuwa sasa tunasafirisha mafuta bana sisi tuko na ndege tuko na crew ndege nyenye iko na tanks why are we not working oh kuachi wajajipanga oh wamesema wiki moja oh wamesema wiki mbili walikaa hapo i think was it a month wakingojea tu kuachi wapatie uh, licenses za ku, za ku fly. He, by the time wanaingia kazi. Oyo yo yo yo. Kwanza mahali wanaenda ku land na hii mafuta. Huko kwa mine kwa mines runway hakuna. Ni maram na ni maram mbaya, si level. Ushaona runway iko na mlima na mabonde na ni runway. Yaani watu walikuwa na crash land huko mazee ndege inaishia hapo. Kuna time wakiwa hapo wakiwa wageni wageni competition wao amekuja ameingia tu kwa runway hivi vip ameenda kwa miti huko. Crew ka survive lakini ndege kuisha. Wakaenda waka harvest maparts ni nini. So watu walikuwa wanapiga hesabu wanaona maze tunafanya kazi gani hapa. Hey, alafu waseba na watu lipi tumepiga piga malap kadhaa hii kitu inafaa kwa mazeshe hena ikiangukia tu hivi tukiyashangusha mafuta hivi mbona tuhesabia machingli chingli. Maze tunapiga tu hii kitu bana atupatiwi do. Hapa na hii kazi haiwezi. Hii crew ikaanza kujiita ma meeting. Si ile crew ya mtu sita walitolewa wa Miami wanaanza kujiambia maze turudini home. Hai kitu haiwezi. Alafu ma AK47 zinalia hapa ni katikati ya civil war. Una kamkuland ma risasi zinapigwa huku chini yako. So uwezi kuja u descend mapema. Lazima umaze u descend ukiwa karibu na airport alafu uanze kuzunguka spiral hivi ni kama mtu hapa na it's way too risky. Way too risky. Turudini home. Eh kumbe yazo wanapanga kurudi nyumbani. Kuna masnitch hapa wameshasikia. Washaenda wakaambia wadosi kwa hiyo kampani kuachi. Eh Ah watu mli wanawafanyia hii kazi ya ndege. Haya si wanataka kwenda. Kwa nini hamna habari? Eh kuachi wanasikia hivyo. Wanashikilia passport zao watu mnaenda wapi? Mkae hapa. Si mlikuja kufanya kazi. Na tutawatandika vibaya sana nyinyi mkianza kuleta mchezo kwa kazi. He ngori. Crew inapiga simu American Embassy. Oh mazea aseba na sisi tumekuja kazi, kazi haiwezi na wanakwama na passport zetu. Sisi tunataka kujiondoa. Kidogo American Embassy inaingilia eh passport zinarudishwa wawili wanapanda ndege very fast out wanarudi home wanne wanasema already tushafanya fanya kazi sasa tukiondokea nani atatulipa hiyo pesa tumefanya fanya hapa maze tuna need kutulia at least tuokote kitu ndio tuwe ndio tuende kidogo kidogo Alwin anakamkugundua ah kuna wase wengine wachana na kuachi kuachi hawajajipanga tunafanya kazi ya watulipi but kuna wase wengine wanakaa bit better wacha twende tuwafanyie kazi yao. Eh badala ya kuletea kuachi mafuta, let's supply fuel to their competition. Eh wanaingia huko kwa competition mazee, wanapiga 17 trips. Ah watu wa kuachi ni kama kuna watu hawajasikia vizuri, wanaanza kutuma threats. Wanaanza kufuatafuata au ah, huku hapa na pale ni nini nini. But haidhuru, ah wanangangana. 17 trips za kufikisha hii mafuta, ah inafika mahali inakuwa haiwezi. Haiwezi. Hiyo ndege wakitoa Miami ilikuwa yani almost new ile ilikuwa imewekwa fit by the time wanapiga hizi 17 trips na hii company mpya hiyo ndege ilikuwa ime beat deadly like kila landing ni beat down mazemu mearibu mataya oh scratches oh nini like wakapiga tu hesabu wakona hapa hakuna kazi tunafanya hii ni nonsense ah hii haiwezi haiwezi so wakajiita meeting wakaambia na eh hey, Chief eh hey, noma hawasa wa kitu kanja acha tu tuzidi tu so before long briefcase jamaa akakuja hapo na briefcase jamaa miraba minne nini amejipanga sasa kuja na briefcase ya madola hapo mwa Afrika akawakanja kanja nini nini immediately moja wa crew akadai eh, mazetu kwa na eh hey, hey, mother ski fit jo home nipatieni tu off ya siku mbili nikimbie niende ni muone then nirudi tuendelee na kazi na hivyo ndio aliendanga 
Hakina Awin wakapiga hesabu akaona kuna kazi tunafanya hapa. Hii ni nonsense. Wasio wanataka kuniua. In fact alikuwa anafuata fuata wa deadly. Kila time akitembea kienda kwa hoteli yake kudoza kiangalia nyuma anapata kuna maraia wana trail na gari. Ni nini nini akajua wase wanataka kunikula wabaki na hii ndege waendelee kufanya nayo kazi. Ha hiyo sitakubali. So mazee security tight kama kifuniko ya gas. Walikuwa na, alikuwa anaingia kwa hoteli yake hivi anafunga mlango na ana prop kiti hapo kwa mlango. Eh, siku moja mazee akiwa medoz doz hivi anasikia kacha kadi imefungua hotel room. Jamaa akienda kufungua mlango akapata kuna kiti imepropiwa kwa mlango hakuweza kufungua. Awin akafanya kama mumama mu Afrika, akapiga nduru proper, proper. So what anyone would have done? Nduru huo mjamaa akatoka mbio. Upon investigations pale chini ikagundulika huyo receptionist pale kwa hoteli alihongwa akapatia mtu a duplicate card ya kufungua room ya Awin. So huko bana mtu anatoa 2000 unakulishwa risasi. Unaona hiyo ni country pia iko na ubla dini ni. So akaona he hapa hapa itakuwa tricky. Itakuwa tricky sana. Haya Kumbuka kuna mjamaa pale Miami alipatiana ndege yake anangojea 30 days ishe alipwe full amount 990,000 dollars sababu alipatiwa 10,000 na deal ilikuwa ya 1M. Kila time anapiga simu ule Mike mwenye alituma akuje ashughulikie Mike anashinda akimwambia eh hey, ni kugumu ni kugumu next week tutajaribu next week tutajaribu next week tutajaribu nothing hakuna kitu inakam. Huyo mjamaa wa Miami akachoka anaitwa Mori akachoka deadly. One time some Nigerians wakanunua engines zake. Kuna engineer akatumwa kutoka wapi? Miami apeleke eh, ndege Nigeria I think we harvest these engines. Either that ama our Nigerians walikuwa wamenunua the complete aircraft. So hiyo aircraft ikatolewa Nigeria eh, Miami ikapelekwa Nigeria. Huyu engineer hiyo jina nimejaribu kukumbuka imekataa. Sti nisaidie. Huyo engineer jina yake iko na double L mahali ambaye alipatiwa ndege Miami yapeleke Nigeria. Alikuwa anaitwa nani? Inaenda kukaa kama kasadia lakini si kasadia. Usi unajua L zao ni ya ya. So huyo engineer ametoka Miami ameingia Nigeria. Mdosi wake Mori amemwambia kuna nugu inaitwa Gabriel alitoka hapa nikamwambia muende mfanye aende afanye kazi after night, 30 days wanitumie pesa yangu. Huyo mtu anashinda akinipatia two stories. Ukifikiti, ukifikisha hii ndege Nigeria tafuta vile utafika Luanda Angola. E, enda repair hiyo ndege tujue vile itatoka hapo. Hapo tuko sawa, hapo tuko sawa. Haya. Wadau it is important for me to tell you that between Awa akina Awin na Mike Gabriel Mike ku, kuacha kazi ile tu, kusema sasa tufanyie hawa tu kazi tumeenda kutulia kwanza between hao kuacha kazi na mudosi e, Miami kutuma mtu kutuma engineer kulikuwa na period ya one year hapo so for one year hii ndege imekoi kilalaga tu kwa airport haifanyi kitu ina accrue tu parking fees parking fees E, Mike Gabriel akipigiwa simu na Amori anaambiwa kila time anashinda akimwambia next week next month next week next month next week next month ule jamaa amechoka so ametuma huyu engineer engineer akuje pale aangalie mambo iko vipi mambo iko vipi e, Awin ule mwenye ambaye ndio alikuwa contact person hapa pia ye, alali anatafuta vile hii ndege ita make sense amepata South Africans ambao wanahitaji engines za hii ndege So amesha call mdosi huko Miami akamwambia bana Mori aki najua tulichukua ndege yako tulikuwa tukulipa after one month ikakataa lakini all is not lost tumepata mtu anaweza nunua hizi engines zako mbili urikupe ile pesa ambayo tulikuwa tunafaa tukupatie wewe unaonaje situpatiane hii ndege iende South Africa Mori anamwambia aina mambo kuna engineer nimetuma Nigeria kupeleka ndege akitoka Nigeria anakuja kwako straight a repair hizo engines hizo kila kitu ina need kukuwa repaired Then mukisha kubaliana na airport hiyo ndege itoke hapo iende South Africa watoe engines zao kule kile wanataka kufanya na hiyo body shauri yao mimi as long as change yangu ni, ni balance yangu munipatie na mstack huko kumbafu akamwambia ina mambo wewe tuma huyo engineer akamsi tutashughulikia so engineer akatoka Nigeria akaingia Luanda na akaanza kazi ya repairs akapiga repairs sawa na nini nini hiyo time yote anaongea na makampuni hapo Luanda eh, anatafuta crew akaambia nitusaidieni na mtu atanisaidia na mambo ya operations akapatiwa mkongolisi mmoja anaitwa John Mutanta 
ni mutanta ama ni mutonta mutantu mutanta hata hapo mtanisaidia so yeah mutantu mutantu john mutantu so mutantu na eh engineer eh ben charles padilla eh padilla so ina pronounce hiyo padilla padilla ndio hiyo that's the guy so padilla mzee ameshafika huku ameshaanza repairs ashaanza kuongea na companies kiasi hapo Luanda airport wakampatia wanataka wanamwasembolia crew ndio ile siku hii ndege itafufuka akuwe na crew ya kama mtu nne tano wakimbia South Africa wafanye ile mambo yao nini nini then uh, crew watajua vile watarudi uh, apart from that crew amepata mtu mmoja wa mkono wa kumsaidia mkongolis anaitwa Mutantu umesema ni Mutantu eh waende wafanye naye ma repairs nini nini bus so one afternoon wamekuwa wakipiga piga ma repairs hapa sasa tushaingia around 2003 Eh, padia anaambia watu pale kwa airport ni aje hii ndege itabidi niitoe nataka tufanye ma test mbili tatu nini but atuendi airborne no 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 zote ni ground tests mambo ya airborne hiyo tutaongea nyinyi mtaongea na mdosi wangu mkishasikizana mambo ya airport fees nini nini then tutajua mambo ya airborne but for now tunataka tu kufanya eh, vitu za ground tu hapa na pale ah hapo tukwambie na mambo we cheza kiwewe So wakatoa ndege wakaipiga push mpaka mahali fulani air traffic control wako pale hawa wanaendelea tu na minding their own business kidogo kidogo pa 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 kitu imeshapigwa full power pale kwa kwa engines eh yeah, ndio hiyo imealign na runway pale wanashindwa eh hey, ujamaa si amesema hata take off eh hey, kidogo kidogo eh yeah, eh yeah. oh, oh, oh feel full throttle ndio hiyo twende sasa nikaende sana oh, oh, oh. within seconds take off speed wow. padia na mutantu wako hiyo ndani kwa hiyo wako kwa hiyo ndege that is what the flight uh, whatever so wanajua wanaitwa nani hao watu uh, air traffic controls wanajua ni watu wawili wako kwa hiyo ndege hiyo ndege ili take off believe it or not in 2003 as i sit on this chair in 2022 Nobody knows the where about of that aircraft. Nobody knows the where about of Mr. Padia. Sababu hata family yake to date haijawahi muona. Very little is known about Mr. Mutantu. Are you Facebook? Are you Instagram? Hawajui anything kumuhusu. So hata kwenda home kwao Congo kujaribu kuuliza family members so Mutantu mumemsikia ama shai muona they don't know where to trace him. Where to find him? To date hiyo ndege hajawahi patikana imeenda kumekuwa na few theories a few people wanasema wameiona ikifly somewhere past somalia wana suspect maybe ilienda ikaanguka mahali kwa ocean a few people wanasema inaweza kuelekeana somewhere in indonesia eh huyu engineer padia alikuwa gana anafanya kazi indonesia at some point so wana suspect huyo mtu mwenye alisema aliona Indonesia anaweza kuwa alikuwa right sababu Padia used to work in Indonesia. Huyo mtu anasema hii ndege inaweza kuwa ikutoka Africa iko tu somewhere within Africa might be right because Mr Padia at some point showed colleagues photos of an African woman and he claimed the African woman was his wife. So inaweza kuwa Umu jamaa alichukua tu ndege akaenda kaidichukua fore mahali na akaingia tu mahali hapo Mozambique kama somewhere akaendelea na maisha na demi yake wa Afrika ju maybe dem wake wa majuu angeleta ngori i don't know or maybe wale wase walikuwa wanataka kuwa Awen baka wakaenda kumkuta kwa hotel room maybe hao wase somehow walikama wakafikia padia na wakati padia anataka tu kupiga ground tests pale akiwa na mutantu wakaingia kwa ndege na yeye wakamwambia washa hiki tu buda tuzidi na wakaenda wakaland tu mahali tu kwa bush na maybe wakauliwa na hiyo ndege ikauzwa for parts ama ikapakwa rangi ikaendelea kufanya hizo kazi za mafuta who knows FBI CIA wakajaribu wakangangana nothing cold case paka leo we are yet to know what happened to flight 8448a Nobody knows. That's the end of story number 1. Twende story number 2. Hey, hey. 
In case mko na ideas mahali hii kitu inaweza kuwa ilienda tuambieni hapo kwa comments. I'd like to know. Naweza nataka kujua. Story number 2. The year is 1997, January 5th. Barabara ni Mombasa Road. Kuna jamaa, siko sure sana, lakini nashuku ni Pujo 504. Ako pale Mombasa Road anaelekea JKIA Airport. Hapa kando akona some papers, some forms ambazo zinaonyesha ya kwamba he is an agent for one of the banks in Nairobi by the name Citibank Kenya Limited. This guy drives into Jomo Kenyatta International Airport anapigwa check check yake hapo haraka hiyo time CIC hii kitu ya gate hapa iko imejengwa kwa tunakacheck kadogo hapo teke 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 lakini badala ya kwenda huko kwa airlines mahali watu wanasafiria akakula maze ka left mahali fulani akaenda mpaka kwa eh, terminal ya um, uh, offices za DHL if i'm not wrong yeah is it DHL okay siko sure mtaniambia ni kampuni gani this guy akashuka na makaratasi zake akaingia pale akapata three security guards e, wako pale akapatiana makaratasi za kuwasatain that he indeed is an agent of City Bank Kenya Limited wakaangalia zile makaratasi wakaona kila kitu ina check out kila kitu tick na waka authorize mjama apatiwe ile mzigo ambayo alikuwa amekujia. Hmm. Wada. Let me give you a brief history. At that particular time, City Bank Kenya Limited ilikuwa inaoperate uh, very differently. Foreign exchange ambayo tuseme currency ambayo inatoka nchi zingine badala ya kukuwa wired to them directly ilikuwa inatumwa kama cargo inawekwa kwa ndege inafikishwa pale airport agent wao anaendea anachukua anazipeleka kwa bank then wanazi distribute accordingly why they did that nobody knows because the technology was there to wire that money directly to them so city bank ilikuwa imeleta shehena imeleta <laughs> mzigo Uh, totaling 11 kilograms bag ya 11 kilograms with a hundred dollar bills inside totaling to 56 million Kenya shillings which in today's value ingekuwa inachezea 80 80 na kitu it is something million dollars i mean million shillings a guy with an office somewhere near Windsor ameingia pale kwa airport ameonyeshana makaratasi amepatiwa bag ya 11 kilograms ameingiza kwa gari amewasha gari yake teke teke ame disappear exactly one hour later a guy drives into the same offices gets out of the car with the same papers and gives it to the guys in charge and tells them ni aje wadau nimekujia ile mali ya city bank mkinipatia niingie i'll be on my way nitashukuru sana The guys wanamwangalia wanashindwa what do you mean exactly one hour ago an agent of yours amekuja hapa tumempatia 56 million shillings ameweka in fact sisi ndio tumemsaidia kuweka hiyo pesa kwa gari aka drive off na akapeleka kwa ofisi zenu jamaa ako hapo in disbelief anawaambia zi mimi ndio nimetumwa hiyo pesa kama mumepatia mtu mwingine ambaye sio mimi my friend tumegongwa and that is when both companies discover that we were defrauded by an individual without firing a single shot ameenda na milioni 56 <laughs> ikiwa in dollar currency he aibu ilioje city bank hawataki hata ku announce he tumetambarizwa 56 million shillings na njia ya aibu sana wanaweka hiyo story hawataki kusema i think this was a friday walikuja ku announce hiyo story the next week on wednesday sababu ni aibu like muna tandiko aje hiyo design makarao wakaambiwa waka launch investigations my friend charles omondi alitafutwa nchi hii by then ilikuwa nimewaambia mjamaa anaitwa charles omondi His name is Charles Omondi. Legend. <laughs> Mjamaa alitafutwa hii country. 
Woyo yo 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 kila mahali. Police waka come up na reward 250,000 shillings for anyone with information that will lead to the arrest of one Charles Omondi. Nothing was otherwise was forthcoming. 1 million shillings for anyone with information that will lead to the arrest of Charles Omondi. Nothing. But police wakakaza buti wakakaza kamba wakasema huyu jamaa liwe liwalo tutamtafuta mpaka tumpate a whole year goes by aki hawampati tushatoka 1997 tumeingia 1998 haya one year six months zimeisha hawampati lakini makarao hawachoki wanatafuta kutafuta before long intel wanapata ripoti kuna mjamaa amekuwa akipiga in and out of the country in and out of the country by road anaendesha gari anaingia TZ kaka kidogo anarudi Kenya kidogo anaingia TZ eh hey, jamaa suspicious suspicious so akiingia tutawaambia eh muone kama ndio ye ndio ye eventually jamaa anapita vile anapita bila kuonekana nobody knows but walishtukia tu Charles Mondi is back in the country Charles Mondi anaenda umoja mahali aliacha girlfriend yake at the times juni girlfriend ama ni bibi anaingia pale umoja anapata girlfriend alihama ameenda suburbs za buruburu at the time my friend buruburu eh hey, iko mchezo buruburu ilikuwa kwa the elites <laughs> ameenda kuishi buruburu so of course eh, after kuhakikisha rada safi rada safi akaingia kwa girlfriend wapi buruburu at this point i can almost Uh, safely say that the police walikuwa wamefika mahali pa enyewe tukubalini huo mjamaa ametuweza roho safi hapo from just this, the, the, the whole operation to hiyo uh, ku escape na ku, ku ondokea capture huo mjamaa is a genius he knows what he's doing i, I think majamaa wakubali tu wamepigwa roho safi uh, next time mkuwe mkuwe afu I think at that particular time one year six months later nyega vile kwa ishati umse ametunyorosha timing ya Mungu na kuaga baridadi i mean na kuaga the best ya shetani na kujaga na mwembe na kuaga na maridadi ingine timing ya shetani na kuaga very colorful vitu zinakaanga ni kama zime fall into place yani ni kama zimepangwa na geometric unajua set set square imecheza hapo protractor yani zina falling into place vizuri by the vitu za oh before niendelee na story kuna watu wajaelewa hii saying yangu nikisema timing ya mungu na kuga perfect but ya shetani maridadi by the ukiona vitu zina fall into place vizuri sana like too good to be true most of the time una gongwa ni shetani Timing ya Mungu inakuwa the best juu most of the time inakaanga ni kama aki ano sioni kama tunapenya hapa then whap, all of a sudden guy i didn't see it coming aki Mungu ni wa maajabu asante barikiwa ya shetani vitu zinakubalingi tu oh mtu anaku promise job ya maana oh mtu anas eh hey, mtu yani zinakuwa zimepangwa and that is exactly what happens in September of 1998 pale buruburu mahali girlfriend ya bwana Charles amehamia na sasa Charles jusa ashaona makarawa hata ashaachana na yeye anaishi huko freely e, pale buruburu kuna commotion hey nini hey, 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 hey. wewe utanipiga hivyo wewe mbona unanipiga I mean, kuna commotion kwa nyumba the neighbors hapa wajui ya watu wanaishi kwa nyumba ni kina nani you rarely see them but uh, there the are people living here Hey, apana hizi commotion aziishi 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours. Hey, 3 hours mtu bado anapiga bibi. No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Tuwezi kaa hapa na mtu anapiga bibi hivyo. Hello? Hapo ni Buruburu Police Station. Ah, apana. Kuna jirani wetu hapa bana anapiga bibi sana. Ah, huyu mkikaa tutakimbiza mwili. No 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 kujeni akimwangalie ni nini wanasumbuana <sighs> kama kuna kitu askari wapende ni kitu inaitwa domestic violence wanashindagwa sasa vitu za watu wawili wanajifunika dove moja aki tunaenda kufanya nini but anyway afande beba nini hapo tuingie tu tuone ni nini inafanyika huko ah 
wametoka hapo very reluctantly wamepiga hapo ndai haraka haraka wameingia buruburu e, wame call neighbor heni umesema ni house gani ya okay sawa tumefika wacha tuingie kama jamaa wana knock mlango who opens the door one charles omondi a fugitive for over one and a half years makarao wako hapo mazao wanampiga pingu mtu anapiga piga bibi ah natutoa hata station unakuja kutupatia kibarua ah, weka mtu pingu ingiza mtu kwa gari madam we baki huyu wacha aende alale station akishisha tempa ikishashuka kesho atarudi nyumbani sawa 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 omondi anasukumwa kwa land rover teke teke mpaka wapi buruburu police station anakuwa booked in majina zinaandikwa nini 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 it is the following day that one of the cops anakuja kuangalia wale watu wamekuwa signed in pale anaona hiyo jina anashindwa wait a minute abu tondeni sel munionyeshe huyu jamani nani lo and behold it is one charles omondi jamaa wamekuwa wakitafuta for one year six months in fact even the arresting officers had no idea this is the guy the whole country was looking for maze wakashindwa aya haya aje sasa so of course kuja hapa wewe umetusumbua sana one year six months umekuwa wapi first of all wapi 56 million eh 56 million gani buda a a ulienda pale kwa nini ukachukua 56 million kwa bag ilikuwa 11 kilo sio bag umekuwa kitu unaingia tz ni kama ni buff unaenda unatusumbua kuku. wapi hiyo pesa umondi akamwambia ina mambo mimi kwenda kuchukua pesa pale kwa nini sitakata nilienda nikachukua lakini jiulizeni hizo makaratasi ambazo nilienda kupatiana pale wakanipatia bag nilijiprintia ningejua aje zile makaratasi zinahitajika ndio niende kupatiwa hii pesa pale the person you should be looking for is one Mr. Njoroge an employee of City Bank aliniita akaniambia na hii jina ya Salimo sijui mbona inasumbua Nairobi hivi Salimo Njoroge aliniita akanipatia makaratasi akaniambia with this set of papers ukienda pale JKIA pale sijui terminal gani utapatiwa shehena fulani hiyo shehena kuja utuletee mahali fulani and that is exactly what i did mimi nilichukua hiyo mzigo sikuwa na haja ya kujua ni nini iko ndani nikaenda nikapatia huo Mr. Njoroge na mimi nikaendelea na maisha yangu kama kawa the person you need to be looking for is Mr. Njoroge sheria inakuwa ule tumeshika huyo ndio anajibu mashtaka sababu Mr. Njoroge tumemtafuta hii Kenya mzima atumpati we ingia ndani serve miaka zako tatu we toka actually no alikuwa serve serve but after ingie kukakuwa na presidential pardon akakuwa released after three years now i hope si kumchomea na mchomea but hii isitoke hapa ni yetu mimi na nyinyi nasikia immediately after huyu jamaa awachiliwe hadwe 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 pale kisumu hadwe ugenya hadwe 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 <laughs> mimi sisemi ni 56 million inafungua mahadwe ya zuko Mm-mm. but hadwe zilifunguliwa eh mabiashara tu ah zilifunguliwa zilifunguliwa mbaya yeah hmm, hmm. And that ladies and gentlemen is the story of the smoothest robbery ever committed in this country. I hope you mwabamba hapo najua nimewapiga dakika zenu kama 50 vile inafaa. God our bless maze. Nyinyi ni watu sana. Tuonane kesho pale Lohana Hall twende tujibambe. Merchandise iko sana kwa sana pale. Binit wako pale. Get serious wako pale. Twendeni tufurahi maze. It's gonna be a day of reckoning. I'll see you. Na watambua sana wadao kama imewabamba piga subscription pale cheza na till number kama pia imeku nice zaidi na click click bang is coming soon maze tukutane pia hapo tufanye ile kitu adios muchachos guys peace